Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another Mac Merlin stream. See quite, quite a few people joining in already. So yeah, welcome everyone. I see a Comrade Crosschance, Chance, Infinite Nacho, Bookmonger, Fiapello, Wilfer DG, CP the Brick, Anonymous, KSJ. Well, this is here, Clackbait as well. Let's see. Um, if it is your first time here, welcome to the weekly group by news stream. This is a show in which I cover all mechanical keyboard related group buys that are starting and ending for the following week. This particular episode starts tonight, July 17th. Well, we cover stuff that starting tonight, July 17th, all the way till Saturday, July 23rd. The very first ending group buy is ending tonight. This one is GMK Classic Beige. There we go, GMK Classic Beige. You can have a classic beige base kit for about 125 bucks. Covers pretty much full size support with common layouts in between. Um, you may notice that, you know, um, there are even Hangul extras or Hangul Alpha kit if you would prefer Hangul Sub Legends. There's also, let's see, Hibby and Classic Beige. Um, what is this? Oh yeah, this is an artisan cap. It almost looked like a regular cherry keycap since that's what it looks like, but this is a artisan cap. Let's see what else here. There's a Lemo cable available, a um, couple dust mats, modern stripes, modern bits, and of course a very vintage worn looking dust mat right there. So yeah, this one sets you back about 125 for the base. And if you wanted to buy every single part of this group buy that I just talked about. We're looking at about 360 bucks. And since this is a GMK key set, you know, we are looking at a Q3 2023 delivery date. Looks pretty interesting. Let's see if there are any renders on boards that we can see here. There we go. I used to be really big on vintage looking sets. So probably a few years back, this set would have been like a must buy for me. But these days, it kind, kind of looks boring to me, to be honest. Let's see, probably better in PBT. Yeah, the, in, in fact, all of my beige-ish sets are in PBT. I, I personally never saw the need to move to GMK for it. But yeah, I can agree with that sentiment. Look at that. 125 for the base. But yeah, this one expires on the 17th, which is tonight. If this is something that you're interested in, you probably only have a few hours left. That is the only key set that is expiring tonight. The rest of these items are keyboards and we have a little more than a little more than a day for this. So the next item that is expiring expires tomorrow on the 18th. We actually talked about this last week. Here we go. This is the Bear 65. The Bear 65 is another Alice type board split ergo and all that. Uh, when the V1 first came out, a lot of people really loved it. So I'm glad that the V2, that, that they now have a V2 coming out. You can see a couple of the prototypes, the reviews and the photos over here. And yeah, this is a very expensive board. You have, you know, at the base model, it's about 350 bucks. Once you add a couple of the options, some of the different anodizations, it, go, it does go up to $399. If you were to buy this, if you were to join this group buy, you are looking at about a five month fulfillment. So expect delivery to start around December of this year. You know, usually whenever I see something delivering or fulfilling in, in December, I think because of the holiday rush, you should probably add an extra week or two to that just to compensate like what? Christmas and New Year, so probably mid January. I tend to be pretty pessimistic in terms of uh, shipping dates though so you know it could come in december you know but yeah you've got e white e purple blue pink and pc but yeah base kit includes case of your choice plate of your choice but yeah check it out if you guys are are interested typing angle six degrees comes with a USB-C daughter board let's look at the exploded layout right here Helicopter says, if I knew I liked Ergo, I would consider this as my end game Ergo. You know what? A lot of people actually said that the V1 was their end game. So yeah, check it out if you guys are interested. This one expires tomorrow, 350 at the base, 399 after options, delivery starting December, 2022. 
Let's see, next item that is expiring is another keyboard, actually. This one, we have a couple more days as well. Um, this one expires on the 22nd. This is the Bergen. At $395, you've got your choice for of, of different colorways, Rebel, Lightning, and Retro. Um, you can choose between Wind Keyless or Wind Key for your 60% needs, and you can choose a solder or hot swap PCB. Look at that. I like its two-tone look. It's not like the same color. Base is a brighter color, which I think is really pretty. Like the Bear 65, they do have an estimated fulfillment time of Q4 2022, so December, December, January-ish January -ish time frame. But yeah, let's see, other information here. Machined in California and Cerakoted in Texas. That's probably one of the reasons why it's $395. Um, gasket top mount, basically here, they posted a picture of what that looks like. There we go. There, that's the gasket top mount. It's not gasket, it's not top mount, it's gasket top mount. <laughs> looks pretty good in my opinion. I've been, I've actually been eyeing this. Like I'm, I'm not into 60s anymore, but this one has definitely caught my eye. I'm just not sure if I want to spend close to $400 on it. But yeah, if you're looking for a good 60% and want to try a relatively unique mounting style, check out the Bergen. So with that said, you know, those at least, those are the only ones that I know of that are expiring this week, July 17th to July 23rd. So out of these three items, GMK Beige, Bear 65 V2, and Bergen, which of these three group buys are you guys most interested in joining? I'd love to hear from the audience. KSJ says none, Bear 65, Bear, Bear, Bergen, Bear 65, Bear, Bergen would be your choice just because Made in USA doesn't sound great though. Bear, Bear, Bear. Let's see, if it were me, I'll be honest with you guys, Um, I've, I've started to appreciate these types of layouts and it's like I've I've never liked them aesthetically pleasing but I will say that the Bear 65 appeals to me. Um, if I only had to choose one item this week though I definitely pick the Bergen. 60% is definitely something I would use. I'd go for the wind key format instead of the wind keyless format. Um, classic beige like what I said earlier I have so many PBD sets that look like this already. Um, spending 125 just to get it in GMK seems like a waste of money to me. But yeah, uh, we, we only have three items expiring this week that I know of. So if you were to join all three of these that I just talked about, Classic Beige, Bear 65, Bergen and go for like what buying all the kits in classic page going for the E white for the bear 65 um, Buying the Bergen you're looking at spending a grand total of $1,156 this week so all things considered not that high like what just a few weeks ago we were at 3,000 but now we're back down to 1,156 so uh, I, I feel I feel that the hobby is indeed slowing down. Well, at least in terms of ending group buys and how I'm calculating all of this. But yeah, one thousand one hundred fifty-six dollars to join every single group buy this week. Let's see. Let's talk about some missed group buys. We don't have too many missed group buys either. Last week, you guys did a great job during the audience group buy section. Sent me a lot of cool things. But even then. We still missed a few, and one of them started on the 14th and is running till August 14th. DCX, Deep Space. So Deep Space first came out on, I believe it was a DSA profile from Signature Plastics. So now they're doing something with Drops new profile, DCX. So DCX is a new profile formerly called MT2, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> I would say it's a very cherry-ish profile. When you look at like the side-by-side -side comparison, it's pretty much spot on with the space bar just a little bit different. 
So yeah, starting at $99, you actually have two base kits, Orion or Polaris. Whichever color fancies you, that's the one you should pick. Um, novelties for 49 as well, and space bars for 25. So yeah, just a couple of renders. So basically, if you've been wa waiting for um, deep space to be in Cherry Profile, this is probably your next best bet. Um, if I re remember correctly, at least when it showed up in, in the in Signature Profile, it was really hard to see the legending. But then again, I'm also colorblind to the color purple. So, you know, that compounded with not having very clear legends probably made this set look even worse to me. Like right now, this one, this one looks fine. You know, it, it's still not like my favorite colorway, but it looks fine. It looks fine. So yeah, this one has a relatively specific delivery date. They're looking at December 2022. So pretty much the same time as the Bear 65 and the Bergen. So yeah, if you were wanting to buy any of those two keyboards and needed a key set for this, you can check this one out. <laughs> the next item that we missed. We got a different variant of this um, during the audience group by stream last week, which I actually bought. So I didn't realize there was an even larger one. Here we go, we're talking about the Megalodon Triple Knob. So the one that I bought from last week was basically, it's still, it's still the same right half, but then instead of this navigation cluster and numpad, it was literally just the numpad. So if you're looking for something even larger, check this out. 138 bucks, you have your choice between black, blue, soy, white, and yellow. And if you have a use case for having three knobs on your board, check it out. But yeah, this guy has a delivery date of October 2022, October 19th to be exact of this year. So if you have a need for a macro pad of this caliber, go and check it out. Let's move on to in stock. Everything I've talked about so far has been a group buy that you can join. Uh, unfortunately, as a lot of these group buys are several months in the making before you can get them. The earliest is definitely the Bear and the Bergen delivering in December, but sometimes you just wanna get items next week. I like to use stockstock.com for all my in-stock needs, but I'm not gonna cover every single item. There are a few that I want to highlight. So the very first item that I'd like to highlight that's currently in stock, Instant 60. So yeah, I've been going through my Keeb collection here and I totally forgot that I had a TX60. So my TX60 is the last board that I have that is tactile. So I was typing on it and I was like, eh, not really feeling it. Let me just change the um, switches. And then I realized that I had a soldered PCB in it. So I was like, oh shoot. <laughs> And you can't, or at least I, I haven't been able to find another plate for my TX60. So it's it's gonna have to entail a complete desolder and resolder, which I'm honestly a bit too lazy for. So I've been looking for more hot swap PCBs. The Instant 60, in my opinion, is probably one of the better ones out there. Yeah, this one's all the way from Canon Keys. You can pick an ANSI layout. This is your standard ANSI layout, or you can go for a Sangin. But yeah, check this out. This is a ARM powered PCB. Why is that important? Um, an ARM microcontroller can have more memory than an Atmega 32U4 microcontroller, which a majority of boards have. What that means is that going forward, if QMK has new features, if you want extra RGB modes, you don't have to disable other features in order to have them. And you know, Maybe sometime in the future, QMK, Via, Vial, any of these firmwares might not be a thing anymore, right? But your board will still most likely support this new firmware. So yeah, check it out if you guys are interested. So yeah, our next item that I'd like to recommend that is in stock are switch containers. I bought a bunch of switches recently and I've been using a lot of these switch containers in order to store them. So I buy from Kinetic Labs. So you can buy a three pack for $11.99 or a one pack, two pack, and you can choose between the small and the large. Um, the large 
fits about a hundred. The small fits about, oh no, the large actually fits 150 and the small about 90. Though I swear I, I've been able to put up to a hundred for one of the small ones. So yeah, these, like if you're in Seattle like me, buying from, Kine from Kinetic Labs, you'll probably get this within a week. Let's see, personally just use Zilla. That's what I used to do as well. But then I noticed when, when you have many, many switches, right? Putting it all in a Ziploc bag in a box, I end up like digging through them. Whereas right now, since I stack all of my, um, all, all of my switch trays, all I have to do is look and I'll know exactly where that switch is. Right, so it's it's a lot easier for me to find my stuff by going this route. If I cared purely about storage, just storing my my um, switches, I would go the Ziploc route as well. So yeah, check it out if you guys are um, interested. Switch containers from Kinetic Labs. The last in stock item that I'd like to feature is, as many of you know, I recently got a Vega 65 and. It didn't come with a carrying case. So I've been looking for a carrying case. One such case I found that was relatively affordable and good quality was the carrying case from Bolsa Keyboards. Like sure, you can find ones on Canon Keys as well. Um, I like the larger bags from Canon Keys, but the Bolsa Supply carrying cases like these are pretty decent as well. So I do need to stop by Canon Keys and buy their large one because my Wind X65, or sorry, my um, Wind X doesn't have a case, so I'll buy from there. But for my Vega, I'll buy from Bolsa. So these are their new ones. I did buy a bunch of their older bags, and those, those are actually pretty terrible. My, no, so some of my zippers broke super easily. If you want to buy from Canon case, they are five bucks more expensive, but their small can actually fit up to a 75, and their large, is TKL and 1800. So yeah, you can check you can check that out as well. But yeah, those are the three items I'd like to highlight that are in stock right now. Let's move on to starting group buys. This one's uh, Ki Kikobo, and these are white on black, black on white RGB keycap sets. RGB being the accents, and these are cherry profile. ABS double shot. Pretty interesting. Um, I I personally haven't seen these in real life, but from what I've heard on the internet is that these are very high quality. Um, some have even said that they are comparable to GMK in terms of their legend sharpness. And some people have even said that they've exceeded GMK. I personally find that hard to believe, but I will withhold my my judgments until I get one myself. But yeah, check out the price, guys. $85 for white and black, or black and white, and the RGB kit is $22. Let's see, estimated to ship in Q3 2022. ETA is three to four months, so if you join this today, you'll get it in October-ish timeframe, October, November timeframe. So yeah, if you wanted to buy all of these kits, both the black and white and white on black, you're looking at spending 192 bucks plus any applicable shipping and all that. I'll probably pick one up myself just to just to compare so that I know for for like myself. You know, it's uh I noticed that it's like within this hobby, it's understandable that you can't financially buy every single item, right? So people rely on he said, she said and, and all that, right? But sometimes I've noticed that people tend to parrot things people say without really knowing themselves like like back then back then when the zelio stuff first came out it's like people were saying oh zelio is really good you know really good i met this one individual who praised it who kept telling me about it but they did have their own set they finally got it and they were like i don't actually like it <laughs> so you know just because other people say it's good doesn't necessarily mean that you will like it. You may have a completely different experience. This key set started today and is running till no posted date of when it's ending, but it's shipping in Q3 2022. All right, next item that's starting. 
is starting tomorrow. This one's a GMK set. Now I feel like last week we didn't even talk about any GMK set. There we go. This one starting tomorrow on the 18th. This is GMK, hopefully I can pronounce this correctly, Yutosu. Yuto means taro and su means flaky. So basically a taro flavored pastry. <laughs> this is another one of those sets that I can't really see. I did join GMK Taro. Funny enough, I joined it because the wife liked it. I looked at it and I was like, that doesn't look right to me because it's purple, right? So I've got the same issues with this. <laughs> yeah, to me, this doesn't look good at all. Like the blue is completely messed up here. So yeah, not, not really a set I can fully comment on. <laughs> But the novelties are cute. Look at that. I will have to say that the mod colors definitely evoke the um, Taro aesthetic. It reminds you of the Osume keycaps. Yeah, I think so too. But with the GMK, you can actually see the legends. It's like the legends, despite my color blindness, are very legible in this case. <laughs> Ooh, a Fuji 65. I've not seen seen these in quite a while. So the vendors are gonna be Canon Keys, Dust Hero, Prototypist, My Keyboard, Z Frontier, Alum KB, and Daily Clack. Let's see, base pricing is gonna be 130 bucks. I guess it's still a tentative price, so we won't know until the 18th, which is tomorrow, what the pricing really is. Let's see a couple of collabs. Oh, that's really cute. I like that. That's really cute. Check it out if you guys are um, interested. Like I said, starting tomorrow, the 18th, and running till August 19th. The next item that is starting, is also starting on the 18th tomorrow. Dude, the next item that is starting is starting tomorrow. This is Milky Way Ashanti. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correct. Probably butchered all the names. The inspiration is another, basically another weeb set. <laughs> With that said though, I actually really like these colors. I, I like saturated pinks and this set speaks to me. I did watch No Game No Life and I, I did enjoy the show, but I would not buy this set because of that association. I'd buy this set because I do like the colors. <laughs> Look, you can even choose blanks, interesting. Latin alphas as well, if you do not like Japanese sub legends. Numpad, novelties. Unless you watch the show, a lot of these novelties wouldn't necessarily mean anything to you. <laughs> Accents, space bars, 40s, Nord, Desmet, cool. Pricing, so here we go. Check this out guys, $95 for the base kit. And if you want the blank base kit, $65 right there. Pretty awesome pricing for a, what, was it a full-size supporting blank base kit? So 65 bucks, not a bad deal for this. Desk mats, 22. Couple other items that are still TBD. It's the Art Artisan card. <laughs> That's funny. See, collabs, quite a few collabs there. There's even an Artisan knob. Very interesting. Cool. Card decks. I love humanity. Cool. Cable collabs. Let's see, vendors are gonna be here in the United States. It's Oda Keeves. I think I've only seen Oda Keeves run one other key set. They don't really. I don't see them too much during my group by news segment. There's Kanata Keys, My Keyboard, Prototypist, Reset. Daily Clack, Rectangles, Outstore, Design Studios, QWERTY, QWERTY COP, Base Keys, Milky Way, and Z Frontier. Very cool. So yeah, check it out if you guys are interested. Join the discussion on Geek Hack. Group Buy starts tomorrow. The last key set that is starting, is starting on the 22nd. You've seen coffee mugs for collabs? I would actually like coffee mug. Okay, so my wife and I collect Starbucks mugs. Every, every time we travel, we like to buy Starbucks mugs there. As a result, we definitely have 
have more mugs than we can than we could ever use <laughs> but but we collect them right so if they start doing coffee mugs tied to key sets i'm more likely to buy the coffee mug than a key set even if i don't like the key set I, that i'm collector in me would be like i need to buy that coffee mug <laughs> but yeah anyway this next set that's starting is gmk taiga there you go, GMK Taiga is another green set, white on green set to be exact. The alphas are definitely a lighter shade of green than the modifiers, but all in all, still a very green set. During the renders, you can't really, it, it's really hard to see that the mods are a different shade of green. This set reminds me of that other green set that was canceled, the one that I really liked. It's, um, I need to be careful when I say it. It's GMK Hunt. <laughs> but yeah, this kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> Look at that. Cool set. GMK Taiga should have been red, green, old school MTG nerds would understand. Oh, oh yes. This starts at 128, extension kit at 46, space bars at 26. So yeah, not not that pricey. But you know, this is a GMK set, so do expect delivery time Q4 2023. Oh, one other thing I noticed or forgot to mention. This is Cyrillic, guys. It's it's not your typical English legends. And unfortunately, they don't even have like an English one. So I guess that's one drawback. If you if you were to get this, you need to be aware that it's not your typical English legends. So yeah, as far as I know, those are the only key sets that are starting up this week. There's the Key Kobo. It's a new manufacturer with some black on white or white on black for cheap. GMK Utosu. There's Milky Way Ashanti and GMK Taiga. As far as I know, those are the only key sets that are starting this week. We do have one keyboard that is starting. Let's say this one, we don't have too much information about it quite yet, other than it's starting on the 19th. Here we go. This one is the Keychron V1. So yeah, this is basically a plastic version of the Keychron Q1 with a few changes here and there. Like the biggest thing is, of course, it's made out of plastic. It's it's made out of ABS. See, that is a tray mount assembly right there. It does come with sufficient foams. There is a sound absorbing foam for the plate and PCB. And there's also a silicon pad at the very bottom. Like the Q1, it is a hot swap PCB. And one of its biggest selling points is that they're advertising it to, it to be very affordable. Um, like the Q1 as well, you have your choice between bare bones, knob, no, no knob, yada, yada, yada. You can probably even buy these um, same keycaps as well. South facing RGB, hot swappable, 1000 hertz pulling weight, great. Um, supports QMK and VIA, so of course you can work, use this on Mac OS and on Windows. But yeah, this is supposed to be an affordable board coming out on the 19th. Is that case PC? No, it's not. Um, at least on the Keychron Discord, if you execute their um, CVs command, it tells me that this is an ABS case. Let's see. I exist there for I think it says, did you cover bind pads BN006 macro pad for ending GB? It ends today as far as I can remember. Dude, well, that is the perfect segue. In, in fact, this is the, the V1 is actually the last item on our list. Let's talk about audience group buys. If you guys think I missed something this week that's starting or or ending, feel free to whisper me here on Twitch chat. Please do include a contact, start end dates, a link, anything to pay attention to, and please, please, please keep it a group buy ending or starting this week. This week being defined anything tonight, July 17th all the way till Saturday, July 23rd. So yeah, I'll keep this open for a few minutes. Let's see, there we go. I exist, therefore I think, just sent me the link for the BN006. Ends on Monday the 18th, oh right. All right, this one's from I exist, therefore I think. 
This is the bind pad, a six key low profile macro pad. Um, ending tomorrow on the 18th, you can buy it at Dan Keebs, Key Espresso, Prototypist Candy Key, Stacks KB. Yeah, let's go look at the Dan Keeps one since I am in the United States. This is a $40 board available at E-White, Black, or Silver. RGB Backlight, Hot Swap, CNC Machine 6061. Um, programmable by VIA or QMK Configurator. Type-C port. Let's see. Estimated shipping date Q4 2022. So hopefully before the end of the year. Not bad. Fancy looking macro pad there. See, thank you. I exist there for I think. Do you guys remember GMK Deku? Um, there's apparently KDS Deku now. According to Clexies, this one is starting on July 21st. I think this is only the fourth KDS set that I know of. I haven't actually seen KDS in person yet, so can't really comment too much on on their quality. These are just renders here. Uh, dust mats available cool yeah if you're a fan of my my hero academia definitely check this out it's the pbt dice sub cherry profile base kit expected around 80 it's gonna be available on kono my keyboard daily clack desk hero and qwerty cop let's see Klexies did send me another item i've never heard of this website before it's called lord's boards interesting this is the rec 60 for 29 bucks it is a GH60 DZ60 compatible PCB with many many supported layouts 29 that is not a bad deal at all looks like it's a soldered board let's look at some full details here let's see the valve support was also verified using a beta RP2040 support branch oh okay yeah this is another aspect of like what what I was talking about earlier with the Instant 60, you know, most boards that use QMK, most boards that are within our community right now use an AVR at Mega 32U4, which is showing its age, right? So I'm glad to see more arm powered boards. Glad to see that we have boards that support the, the um, RP. But look at this. I feel like this one's going the same route as the DZ60, the DZ60 soldered, which supports a large amount of layouts. The one layout here that I'm confused about is why? Why the all one U bottom row? Why? I I don't get it. <laughs> it's like I can understand the rest of these, you know, but the all one U bottom row. Why? I don't know why. <laughs> But yeah, 29 bucks, um, I'd be very interested in trying this out. Especially since 29 and it's a new microcontroller. Let's see, looks like they have ESD protection there as well, so good. See, so Tataimo says, why? Because you can. Thank you very much, Klexis. The next one is Steve ML. This is something I'm very interested in. There you go. This one is from Steve ML. This is a Austin, but in acrylic. 179 that is a very good deal like like the Austin has been a very popular board So you can pick between clear or frosted for 199. Wait, does this thing have underglow RGB? I don't see any Underglow so frosted wouldn't Wouldn't matter too much unless you don't like having your um, PCB exposed Yeah, let's see use this an Austin R1 PCB over one kilogram when fully built. Acrylic, oh, it's even an acrylic plate. Normally it's a metal plate, so this is gonna be very flexy. Brass standoffs and screws, rubber feet. See how many mounting points or how many screws for the stacked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, 13 screws to keep the stack together. I'm generally not a big fan of stacked acrylic boards because they're a little too flimsy for me. I've never seen an acrylic board with an acrylic plate, so this is this this is interesting to me. I know there are other extras. Here we go. See, you could actually get a copper bottom to um, stiffen up the feel a bit 
for 69 US dollars. So that's interesting. Change. Okay, there we go. You can change the plate. You don't have to stick with the acrylic plate. You can go with copper, brass, aluminum, or even extra acry acrylic. Okay, that's good. That's good. So here, check it out. Acrylic Austin. Thank you very much, Steve. Oh, here we go. This one's from I'm Not Bree. Um, <laughs> and Bree says, if you don't mind a little bit of self-advertising. So yeah, disclaimer. This is from, from Bree. And I think this is really cool. From Bree's Cheesery. <laughs> I really love that website, Bree's Cheesery. Seems to be a TKL for about 350 bucks, available in red or in black. You have top engraving or no top engraving. And it's actually a Afroless TKL. Very cool. I actually really like this. The Peak is an Afroless Winkeyless TKL developed by Bree. Top mount design, simplistic profile, brass accent piece. See, brass accent is inspired by anime related vinyl stickers. This is actually already started on, this, on the 15th and is running till August 15th. Lead time of six to eight months, so most likely Q1 2023 delivery. See, case is made out of 6063 aluminum, anodized in black and red. Cool plate material is aluminum, and you have your choice of PC aluminum or FR4. 1.6 millimeter PCB designed by FJ Laboratories, very nice. Typing angle six degree. Hard carrying case, perfect, okay. I love it when the custom board comes with the hard carrying case. And look at that unified daughter board as well. Looks pretty cool, especially if you like the Efroless TKL form factor. Limited Switchworks is sending me a, oh, it's a Noxie board. I forget how it's pronounced, a Evija, Evija, don't really know. This is a HHKB style board called the Evija going for 450 bucks. Interesting, you have your choice of lightning silver, Noxry pink, pink frost, and smoke gray. I guess we can go through the pictures right there. Very cool. Let's see, other specs, compatible with HHKB Pro 2. Oh, perfect. Seamless case design, top mount plate, eight degree base angle, polycarb. This actually started on the 16th and is running till the 31st, eight month lead time. So we are looking at Q1 2023. Couple changes here, but yeah. Um, I'm not an HHKB user, but I can, I can understand why people want to change out their um, chassis. The smoke gray is $500. That is so expensive. 450. Or $500. Dang, that's pricey. There, check it out, guys. The Evija. Next one is Tatai Mo. Oh, there we go. Play keyboard store. This is from Barry. Barry's the kid in Taiwan. Haven't heard from him in a long time. From the Play keyboard store. This is starting on July 20th. Bio PK and Bio Command 65 custom keyboard kit. Ooh, look at that. That looks so vintage. So vintagey for 229 bucks. That seems cheap for 229 bucks. Okay, what what are the specs? It's inspired by the Commodore 64. Yep, of course. Uh, wired or wireless allows function key remapping and QP compatible firmware. Dual battery design. Multiple sound effects. It's got a buzzer in it. Creates retro vibes with your typing. Ooh, okay. Solid structure with special top mount design. Oh, okay. So it looks like there are limits to this. You've got 500 for each color. 500 for each color. 2,000 around the world. Okay, I'm gonna have to reach out to Barry and be like, hey man. Made in Taiwan, yes. For those of you who don't know, I was born and raised in Taiwan, so I very frequently return there. Hot, oh, it's even hot swappable. Very nice. I want this board. It, this definitely has that vintage aesthetic to it. Like, I think it's like if the vintage aesthetic is not what makes me want it. It's the buzzers. That It's that buzzer sound that I really want. <laughs> and not bad, 229. Shipping's probably gonna be like 
50, 60 bucks though. That's the thing. So yeah, this is gonna be going live on July 20th and is open for a month, apparently. Very cool. Okay, thank you very much, Tataimo. Rujin had a raffle today and remaining units will go public tonight at 11 p.m. PST. This is called the Rujin. Let's go. Wow, that is, that is an expensive board. $850. Holy crap. Very Iron 165-esque with that plate there. So 65, 7 degree. Top mount, 17.5 millimeter. The blocker is a Hungle badge. Designed by Wolf. I want more pictures of this board. Uh, oh my gosh, $1,000? The Dala edition? Come on. Oh, look at that. Look at that blocker. That reminds me of the... Like, it's 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 a larger blocker than what's typical for, for 65%. I like how that looks. Interesting. Looks good, but price hurts. I agree with you on that. Let's see. PCB. Oh, it's the same PCB for both. Not seeing any information about this guy or... Yeah, there's not much information about the PCB, but the fact that it's using a unified daughter board, it's got all of the protections. Did not know about this board at all, and based on this website, there's not too much information. Thank you very much, Stunseed. And from Baron Law, this is a trinket tray, available in titanium and brass. $96.99, or natural brass for about 90 bucks. I guess this is a screw tray from Thok when you're building your board, something to let's see. 250 gram titanium or 400 gram brass, very cool. Anti-slip rubber base ring. But here we go, this other item he sent me is a new switch called the Doom Switch. 45 bucks for a pack of 770. Okay, it is linear or tactile available. Um, top housing HDPE, nylon PA6 for bottom housing, long pole 13.8 millimeters, cool mounting pins, five pin, two stage spring, no factory lube, designed by Keepfront. Ah, ah, okay, sounds like a switch I would like. Estimated shipping date late July 2020. All right. Well, thanks guys for joining in, and um, if you're just joining in right now, and you're like, why is Merlin finishing? Doesn't he start at 7.30? Yes, I normally do, but tonight um, my wife's flight was moved around a bit, so instead of me picking picking her up after my stream, I'm picking, I'm, I'm, I'm having to leave within the next half hour. So yeah, had to start the stream a whole lot earlier. But thanks guys for joining in. Yeah, wow, so a bunch of you still showed up despite my change in time, so thank you. Thank you very much for all your support. My next stream will be this coming Tuesday, in which I'll be unboxing a few things that I received over the past week. So if you guys wanna see what's new in the hobby or just basically stuff that I've bought, come check me out Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. PDT. All right, guys, have a great start to your week, and I'll catch you when I, when I catch you. Bye, everyone.